In today's episode of Next Gen Pharma, we travel to the beautiful landscapes of Mboni in Makueni County to learn how to properly breed rabbits. Rabbits grow very fast and gain maturity earlier. They become suitable for breeding within six months of age. The gestation period for rabbits is less compared to other livestock animals. Generally, a doe gives birth to kilts after every two months. Each time, one doe can give birth to two to eight kilts. Gestation period stays for 28 to 31 days. Shadrach Mwendoa is a 26-year-old rabbit breeder who's cashing it big when it comes to these fluffy animals. Now, na biashara ya sungura ina faida. For one, they mature very fast. Na zina mangonja. Shadrach's interest in agriculture sprouted during his high school years where his favorite subject was agriculture. Inspiration yangu kuteka agriculture, that was my career. So I took agriculture as my career. For one, yon di ulikuwa karia yangu, kukua mutu wa agriculture, mkulima, ama nifunge, itu kama dairy cows, ama nikuwe farmer. When college came calling two years later, Shadrach had already settled in his heart agriculture was going to be his bread and butter. After college, he dabbled in various jobs in the agricultural sector. He moved from being a farm assistant to managing mentionable dairy farms across various regions in Kenya. I started when I was in high school. I took agriculture. I took agriculture come the best subject. Then after that, I performed on my project. And I was the best in my project when I was in high school back in the 2006. Then after that, I went to a dairy farm where I was working and still taking some, some other for some other studies. I took agriculture economics and carpete technical. Then I managed after a period of time, like 2010, I managed a dandari farm where we used to produce milk productions. Starting the rabbit farm was market-driven for Shadrach. At the time, a global nutrition report had released the alarming statistics of obesity in Kenya's young female population. Nutritionists and physicians began advocating for a much more nutrition-based diet that involved less red meat. This was the opportunity that Shadrach pounced on. Our field expert on today's show, Japheth Atundo, shares the same sentiments on the rabbit meat. He also affirms that rabbits are extremely economical when it comes to space. In an eighth of an acre, a farmer can keep up to 1,000 rabbits at a time. I love rabbits. My love for rabbits started in 2009. Uh, it was during my reign at Bidco Uganda Limited when I was uh, on my annual leave that I went back home to Kakamega, a place called Bukura on our local market. And uh, fortunately, I found a brother from the Indian, uh, uh, an Indian brother who had come there to purchase all the rabbits. And he was buying all rabbits at 500 shillings per rabbit, regardless of the, of the weight and age. So he bought from boys, you know, there are boys who normally do it at home. So he bought, uh, the market is there on Wednesday and on Saturday. So the whole of Wednesday he was buying rabbits and even Saturdays. He bought all of them, it gave me some sleepless nights. I started finding out why rabbits? Where is he taking the rabbits? I, de I developed a lot of interest in rabbits. So I did some uh, research. I, I read a lot of newsletters. I went online. I googled about rabbits. And I found a lot of things amazing, totally amazing about rabbits. Number one, rabbits are fast maturing. They are able to give back every month because they have a gestative period of 28 days. When a rabbit litters today and you give him a male, he will conceive again today. So it is possible that a rabbit produces 12 times in a year. But as experts, we discourage that. 
rabbits are very prolific. They mature very fast. It takes between uh, four to six months for a rabbit to mature. If we are serving it for meat, four months. If we are doing breeding for females, six months. Males, eight months. Rabbits have got the highest conversion. On very little feed, amount of feed, rabbit is able to put on a lot of weight. It is friendly to space. We live at a time when population is growing, but land is not growing. So we need to find out projects or enterprises that we can do that requires little space. Rabbit is ideal for that matter. Rabbit meat is one of the best meat available for human beings today. It has the least cholesterol. It is all white meat. It has protein. Protein in rabbit meat is very easily digestible and also is easily assimilated in the body. Because of that, we are recommending people to eat rabbit meat, the athletes, the infant, the pregnant mothers, uh, those people who are sickling, and generally everybody, we are telling them to eat rabbit meat. Rabbit meat is rich in calcium and potassium. Calcium and potassium is very good for our bone, our bone and teeth. Rabbit meat is rich in something called selenium. Selenium helps in thyroid function and it's also an anti-aging agent. What I'm saying is this, you are able to eat rabbit meat, you grow old, but you don't know that you are growing old. It's an anti-aging, you age gracefully. You don't know that you are aging. You might be 40, but from the onlook, somebody looks at you and says that you are 25. I think that is very good news for all of us. Rabbit meat is rich in uh, vitamin C. Those who know vitamin C, it, is, uh, an, uh, it boosts your body immunity. Rabbit meat is rich in v vitamin B3. B3 converts carbohydrates to energy and also helps in production of uh, sex hormones, therefore improving libido. We will recommend rabbit meat to anybody who has a problem in that area. It's also rich in vitamins B13. Uh, generally, we are telling people to eat rabbit meat because it solves a lot of things that we even don't know, a lot of challenges that we may not be knowing even now. The rabbit farm would require a number of factors, the first one being the land upon which the rabbits would live in. While rabbits are extremely friendly to space, they need a home that is quiet and facing away from the wind. Shadrach shares the same manner in which he constructed, especially in a relatively windy area such as Mboni. The, the construction site, how the cost. For one, maybe the structures along the cost, maybe it's somehow the low, the, they have the low cost, and maybe they may just, the cost may be high, but you just supplement, yeah. If you have the materials, local, the materials are locally available on our area. Jafet Atundo shares that aside from that, a rabbit unit must also be protected from extreme weather conditions. In such conditions, rabbits may not mate, and in instances where the female rabbit has a litter, she may abandon it entirely. Before anybody starts rearing rabbits, we recommend a site visit. We should be able to come, experts are able to come on your farm and help you identify the right place for you to set your farm, your rabbit farm. Number one, we ensure that the structure of rabbits is not facing the direction of the wind. So somehow you have to tell us this area wind comes from the other side and now we block that wind because we allow that wind to come in, it causes pneumonia in your rabbit. Number two, rabbits, they don't want disturbance. They don't want predators. So anywhere there are dogs, anywhere there are rats, anywhere there are snakes, we try to avoid. Abrupt noises like hooting, uh, places that uh, maybe aeroplanes are taking off or maybe there are noisy places like quarries is not an ideal place for rabbits, okay? So when we come, we'll tell you that this place, in as much as you are suggesting is the best for you, to us, according to the behavior of rabbits, is not the best. Instead of 
building your cages, uh, your hatch there, you can do it alternatively in another place. So we, we advise farmers at that level. We do the initial sighting and tell you this is what is supposed to be done. There are some places that are very hot. Some places are very cold. Goodness, rabbits are adaptive animals, okay? They have some inbuilt mechanism to regulate the temperatures themselves. But we do help them by designing model structures in a given area that suits a certain climate of that place. Like places in Mombasa, we opt to open up so that more fresh air can come in and go out, okay? So you'll find in places like Mombasa, we are using a mesh wire, external part of the hut. But in places like Limuru, which can be very cold, we try to enclose as much as possible, while at the same time we leave some little ventilation for air to come in and air to go out. The rabbit hatches, we have said that you do a base of two feet by two, two and a half feet by two. That one is big enough for one mother. And that, that one, when, even when a mother gives birth, the first one man is able to accommodate the mother. Remember that hatch is supposed to be big with a height of two feet so that even when the mother is about to give birth and you introduce a nesting box, we still have some other space left for the mother. The floor of that hatch is supposed to be a combination of wild mesh and chicken mesh. The argument is that all the droppings and every urine is supposed to come, it should not be part of the floor. It should come down so that it can be harvested, as you can see on this structure. It, is, it should be has, harvested and drained. The moment you leave those droppings and the uh, urine on the floor of the cages, it forms a very good uh, condition for rabbits to get diseases. You can do one, two, or three tires. The third tire, especially we advise farmers, you have to, to have a, a strict farm hand. There are some, farm, uh, some workers who will find it very hard to go high to feed a rabbit. So if you're having a lazy, a lazy worker, we would recommend that you only do two. I've seen some areas rabbits have died because they were not given food. And because they were neglected, the worker could not go climb up to to, to keep the, the uh, to, to feed the rabbits. This hatch is supposed to be very accessible. You are supposed to reach your rabbit very quickly. Okay? You are supposed to be observed. Like now you are able to see what is happening along that line. So that you see the activities of the of the rabbit. When you find that rabbits are dull then as I said earlier, there could be a problem. So if you start blocking, you, you are not able to observe in a line what is happening, it can be tricky at some time for you to know when a rabbit is sick or not, when a rabbit is having a problem or is not having a problem. Choosing suitable breeds for commercial rabbit farming in Kenya is most important. The most common rabbit breeds used for commercial production in Kenya are California White, Flemish Giant, New Zealand White, and some other local crossbreeds. All those breeds are suitable for commercial production according to the environment and climate of Kenya. Shadrach has a mixture of these breeds in his farm, the most prominent being New Zealand White, Chinchilla, and the California White. Na California White na kuna New Zealand White. We have the mixture, but the California White they do best. For one, they mature fast and they gain the weight. They, they are very preventive. Tulianza na six, California white, na, na bucks mbili, they were eight. After three months, your, the first lot ilienda, iliuzwa kama 60. Tuka select the other breeds sasa. Ile tuli select the other breeds, tuka serve tena with those the two bucks now. After Two, after every month they give birth, after 28 days they give birth. Then after six weeks, six months, they are mature. Then you have to select them breeders from there. Jaffa shares that the selection of the breeds should be based upon the specific purpose of the rabbit breeding. A farmer who wants to rear rabbits for the purpose of meat 
such as Shadrach, will choose a different breed than one who's rearing for skin. We have around 47 different types of breeds. A farmer will decide which type of breed she or he wants, depending on the purpose of rearing the breeds. We have breeds that are ideal for meat. We have those that are ideal as pets. Those are good for skin. And generally, they are well, people who do rabbits because of laboratory. People are doing tests, establishing facts in the laboratory. So those are some of the reasons why somebody will want to do a, a rabbit. But in our case now, we are coming in to do rabbit specifically for meat. Uh, out of the 47 different types of breeds, we have I identified 10 breeds that are doing so well in terms of meat production. And those ones we are recommending our farmers to use those 10 breeds. The biggest challenge we have had in rabbit rearing is that we do not have specific drugs for rabbits. We only borrow from chicken because as I've said, rabbits and chicken share diseases. So it is a challenge and it took us some time before we came to where we are. We are happy with the farmers that we are coming in now. They will not be able to go the hard way we went. They will not go the high, hard way other farmers went because uh, it was very distressing. You can get to a farm and before you establish what the problem is, you have lost more than 40 rabbits and you still don't know what is, what is happening, okay? Even in institutions of high learning, rabbit keeping as a, a subject has not been dealt with fully. We only do introductions, okay? So you'll find that people do not have, even at veterinary level, people who are graduating do not have the techniques of handling rabbits. They only have to come and practice, come and go through the, the, the problems you have gone through, then they are able to now catch up, okay? So it is a big, it, it is really a big problem, but thank God we have come from there. Now the information we are having, we are able to handle rabbits and reduce mortalities. We can guarantee you 90% survival of your rabbits. We, we have a disease on the farm that mostly affects the ears. You will find some crust at some point inside the ears of a rabbit. When the crust forms, you will see your rabbit every time it's shaking. It's shaking the ears. That one is called ear canker. Ear canker, you will find some farmers are trying to apply some liquid paraffin in the ear. It is not a permanent solution. Because after some time, remember it's something that, a disease that is in the skin and is in the blood, okay? So when you, you apply uh, that kind of medication in the ears, it is temporarily. After some time, it recurs again. What we are telling farmers now, we are able to do an injection, some cutaneous injection, on the, on the skin of the rabbit, just under the skin. We prescribe 0 0.4 ml on any rabbit that is three and a half month and above. We don't inject pregnant rabbits. We don't inject younger rabbits than uh, those that are below three and a half month old. Diarrhea is also uh, an occurrence in rabbits. It is part of the, for us to be able to avoid that, we do preventive uh, treatment after every one month. We are able to tell you which, uh, prescribe to you which uh, antibiotics you are going to give your rabbits at what time, so that we reduce those instances. There are some, some sicknesses like the sawhawk. They will come because of the way you have constructed. We have sharp edges in the, in the cages. That one, we don't have a treatment, of course. You can open the wound, use some iodine to clean it. But the best thing is you to go and redo your structure. When you redo your structure, you will be able to minimize those diseases. The Dutch is one of the oldest rabbit breeds that is popular for keeping as pets or for show ground. It is tolerant in any climate and weighs from 2 to 2.5 kilograms. The next one is the earlobe. This rabbit is easily identified by its outstanding large ears that droop around the head. It is heavy with short stocky legs and weighs over 5 kilograms. When it comes to the selection of the breeding stock, 
This young farmer believes that one of the key things to consider is the characteristics of the bark. Barks determine how the size of the litter as well as how the litter performs upon maturity. We, what we, keep, we take into consideration the the physical fitness. Yani vile how it gains weight. Unajua una inaanza kuwa iko na mwili kubwa lakini haina weight. Or now you are going to feed it in depend. It in depend na vile una feed the the more it gains. You after 6 weeks it may go up to 4.5 to 6.2 kg when it's raw. Kama inachinjwa inakuwa 4.2 Jafet adds that rabbit breeders should also look at the fur texture, the rabbit's feet, and especially the ears. There are those bugs that we'll find they are siring little litters. Those ones we, we try to avoid them. But according to history, you'll find some bugs when they sire, the, the, the does receive, uh, are able to give more litters. Because we are interested, interested in uh, more litters, we choose even the young bugs from the father who was performing well, you have to observe the, a, a good buck should have all the testicles. If one is missing, it could not, be, it could not perform pro, uh, better. So you have to observe the testicles, you see that they are all there and they are inter, intact. You have to see the health of the rabbit, you check. That rabbit is supposed to be in good health. You have to check the eyes, they are supposed to be bright. You have to check the ears, they are supposed to be very upright. You have to check the skin, it's supposed to be, uh, the coat is supposed to be very smooth. If you find fur is on the, on the rabbit, you will have to treat, you will have to deworm before you can choose it for, sale, for, for breeding. And again, uh, you space the back. You can give it the, the first hatch and then you can allocate how many females. Rabbits are able to, the breeding ratio in rabbits like one to 10. You can do one buck to 10 females. Some people will find them too, keeping more than uh, four bucks for 10 females. That is very expensive for those farmers. Because again, uh, as I've told you, when a female rabbit conceives, it will not accept a, a buck again until the day she gives birth. That is a very leading fact in rabbit keeping. So if you have a buck today with 10 females and you serve those females at intervals of three, three days, you will find that in one month, all the females have been served by one buck. So keeping an extra buck is very expensive to farmer because the extra bucks are eating food and performing work that was supposed to be done by one, one, one buck. As with all other animals, mating is a game of timing. Shadrach times when his does are in heat and the proper time to take them to the bark. Conditions such as the time of day play a big role. Shadrach has observed that his does prefer to be mounted and perform best during the morning hours. Sometimes they started eating the others. Napiga wengine. Kama sivyo unasikia ina, ina, piga, ina paruza wire mesh. Iki paruza hivi, unakuta iko on heat. Then you serve it. After 28 days, the 29th day, inaza. There are some uh, things to know that a rabbit is on heat that you have to observe. Like you, you, it may take you some time to observe the, the vulva. The vulva. You see it sometimes pale, reddish, eh? very looking a bit oily you know that a rabbit is on heat and then you see some restlessness it's like the rabbit is wants to climb on the on the knee in the hatch but uh, most importantly it's not even important for you to see those signs the door is able to receive the back anytime so long as there is no stress in the rabbit or so long as she is not pregnant if the rabbit is not pregnant or is not stressed that rabbit is good to, to breed. Female rabbits can attain sexual maturity as early as four months of age. Rabbits bred this young are unable to handle the stress of pregnancy. It is therefore recommended to breed a female rabbit for the first time when she's six to 12 months old. On the other hand, female rabbits that are bred later in life may be less receptive to male rabbits and may not even conceive a litter. 
Those should no longer be bred once they are older than five years old. Rabbits are induced ovulators, meaning they will ovulate until after they are bred. Once mating occurs, the female rabbit will ovulate making her fertile. Being a farm manager in many livestock farms, Shadrach has noticed that the rabbit's behavior is very different from other animals. The bucks are extremely territorial and will only perform if the doe is taken to the buck and not vice versa. If one was to take the buck to the doe's cage, she could possibly become dangerously territorial and refuse to mate. Most does will only be receptive to a buck at least once a month. If a doe acts hostile towards an advancing buck, she's not ready to be bred. It is best to try breeding the pair seven to ten days later. Sometimes come up aggressive, unamutoa. Then after like three to four days, unamrudisha tena, atasafiwa tena. Yeah. Anaza kuwa aggressive, ama react, hivo. But the, the, sio aikuangi sana. Anaza kata for leo, ama kuwa aggressive for today, tomorrow. Then the day after tomorrow, anaitikia unasav. Japheth agrees. In his 20 years of experience, he has seen fights between the doe and duck become so intensive that they end up wounding each other. Because, you know, rabbits, I have to mention that are very territorial. They perform very well in their own territory. So when you take the buck in the doe's house, they will engage in a fight. Okay? When you take the doe to the buck, the doe will know that she is going there. That is not her hatch. What is taking her there is to be impregnated. Okay? So she will go there and she will easily submit. But if you take her back to the door, they will first engage in a fight. When the back subdue, subdues, uh, subdues the, the door, that is the time the female will uh, accept the back. And you know, we are not interested in fighting female and male, male rabbits. So to shorten the process, you simply take the female to the male. You have to bring it up, to feed it, and make sure that at least the, your doe is coming to three kilos, three and a half kilos and more. Otherwise, if you serve with a very strong buck, I've seen some bucks even killing the dog. They are spinal, they, they are, you know, we have a force the buck is using, eh? a forward force, which is supposed to meet another force, backward force. So if the forward force supersedes the backward force, and the door is there, you will find the spinal cord is breaking. And you then will, it will be followed by a sound, like a, the rabbit is crying, and then it dies immediately. So make sure that at least your rabbits, your, even your doors, in as much as we want the back to be bigger in body, but the doors will be at least three, three and a half kilos to four kilos. You will find that ovulation starts in rabbits. When a female rabbit that we are calling a doe is introduced to a stimulus and this a stimulus in this case is the back when you take the door to the back they will do some small movement during that time when the back is chasing the door that process might take less than 10 seconds ovulation has already started uh, a healthy rabbit a healthy door will take little less than 10 seconds to respond you'll see the, the back mounts and if you want to know that the buck has successfully uh, impregnated the door, you will see the buck falling on one side. It has to fall on one side. Either backwards, slightly backwards, or slightly on either left or side, le left or uh, right hand side. If the buck doesn't fall, you know that it is not successful. And as a keen farmer, you are supposed to know that. So that when it's not successful, you can remove the door from the, from the hatch, take her back to her hatch. If it is not successful, the back has not fallen. Probably we have some environmental factors or uh, it is under the stress again. Eh? Or maybe the female rabbits are very proud. If you give a female rabbit a weak back, the female rabbit might even start fighting the back. 
So for you to for 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 you to uh, achieve it quickly, you have to when when you are doing your breed selection, you have to ensure that the buck is healthy and is bigger in body size, so that when the female goes there, she submits. Otherwise, they may engage into a fight. To find out if a doe is pregnant, wait until the 10th or 14th day after mating. Then, use your left hand to gently cradle the rabbit's lower body between the hind legs and the pelvis. Gently place the thumb on the right side of the abdomen and the fingers of your hand on the left side. If the doe is pregnant, you should be able to feel the developing embryos inside her abdomen. Rabbits, you know, a female rabbit, when she's pregnant and you introduce it to the back, it will make some cry. It's like making some noise, eh? Telling the back, no, me, I'm pregnant. I don't want you, okay? So there are, there are others that will, will lie, will lie that I'm pregnant when they are not pregnant. So there are three ways you use to, to check if your rabbit is pregnant. Number one, as I've said, when a dog gets pregnant, she will not accept a back again. This one is uh, confirmation of pregnancy in that case is done after 10 days. So when you take the door to the back, you will, you will hear it making noise. So you will know that uh, copulation was successful, okay? Number two, you can use a weighing scale. You know, you, with a weighing scale, especially the digital weighing scale, you are able to register abnormal increase in weight on a rabbit. So when you notice this rabbit is uh, abnormally increasing in weight, you know that, eh? and you had already served it, eh? you know that this rabbit is pregnant. Number three, with expert hands, you are able to palpate. You feel the fetus in the womb, but that one you can only do when you are an expert. We are training people, even farmers and farm hands, how they can be able to, to feel and know. The duration of time between fertilization and delivery for rabbits takes an average of between 28 to 31 days. This duration, however, can be affected by various factors, such as the time of day, the size of doe, and above all, the size of the litter. Introducing the nesting box for the pregnant doe should be done on the 23rd day after fertilization. Shadrach has come to understand that if he introduces the box earlier, the doe may mistake it for a bed or even a toilet. On the 26th day after fertilization, a good doe mother will start preparing for her litter by pulling the fur around her teeth and under her neck. This is done to expose her teeth for the litter to suckle and make a lining to keep the litter warm. Good mothers will do those things naturally. A good mother is able to remove the fur and prepare for even uh, littering by herself. You will find that what you only do, you introduce something called a nesting box in her heart on the 22nd or the 23rd day. When you introduce it at that time, the door knows that this one is now my maternity. If you keep it earlier there, she might, mis she might misjudge it. So when you introduce it on the 23rd day, psychologically she knows that this one is meant for littering. There are those rabbits, in as much as they are giving us more litters, they belong to a class that is not good mothers. You will find them not even plucking the farm. Okay? So such a rabbits, we allow them on the farm because again, we have a crisis. We have a scarcity of even rabbits today. So we cannot afford to slaughter any female rabbit today because we want to increase the number. So we allow her to give birth. But as part of our training, we teach your person and yourself how to introduce the litter on the teeth of the mother when she, she has given birth. Because in most cases, bad mothers, they don't litter in the nesting box, they don't remove the fur. So on the side of uh, breastfeeding, we assist them. You lie them, you lie that mother rabbit on the floor, you caress her. When she feels that you are not an enemy, you are a friend, she will relax. And when she relaxes, you take the litter one by one, introducing them to the teats of the rabbit. Shadrach, during his time in rabbit breeding, has encountered his fair share of good and bad mothers. 
When he sees signs of bad motherhood during the nesting box phase, he tries to pull far from the mother or use cotton wool to line the litter box. Bad mother will of course may not be able to remove the fur. We assist, there's a special fiber. Some people are using cotton, cotton is not the best. There's a special fiber that almost resembles the fur of a rabbit that we use to assist her make the lining. And then when she gives birth, we, we cover, we use the same fiber to cover. And again, around that time, you can also pluck. You can hold the mother and pluck the fur to make it maintaining the, the, the smell of the mother, okay? So for her to know that this is her kids, you, you can also, on that fiber, you can also pluck the fur, especially around the teats, so that the teats are exposed and help her make a lining for the, for the young ones. During the doe's pregnancy, Shadrach increases the quantity of feeds, which compromises of more pellets in the diet. Ensuring the doe's unit is cleaned regularly is a big one for Japheth. He affirms that this is the key to preventing infections to the doe and to the litter. There is little difference in terms of taking care of the doe, okay? We are, it's almost the same as taking care of all the other rabbits. But because this one is already having some uh, additional uh, litter in her, in her womb, or a lactating rabbits, of course, she will want uh, to eat more so that she can be able to get more milk for the young ones. We only increase the ratios of food. We normally do 100 grams in a day, okay? In this case, we can increase to 120 or 130. Rabbits eat very little, and they eat to, to their satisfaction. They are not like uh, in poultry, they eat to finish. So in as much as you put even 130 or 150 grams, when she is full, she leaves the food alone. So in terms of manage, managing a doe that is in calf or a doe that has already given birth and is lactating, we only increase the amount of uh, feeds in the, in the hatch. You can also give her additional skumawiki or sweet potato ven. It is very good for, for those mother, mothers at that time. And make sure there is a lot of water. You can also do some multivitamins. At dawn when Shadrach is fast asleep, his does deliver their litter peacefully and quietly. Only in the morning will Shadrach notice more far in the nesting box and mild movements suggest the birth of the kilts. Javits shares that this is how it's supposed to be. The only exception being if the environment has other animals such as cats or dogs that the doe may consider as an enemy. In such cases, the doe tries to hide the kilts in her stomach only to realize later that she ate the whole litter. It forms part of the training you are giving. As I've said, uh, if you play with the psychology of a rabbit, okay, and then she's not happy, she may, be, she may decide to eat the young ones. Number two, if a rabbit gets pregnant in, that, in her cage, just maintain that cage. When she's about to litter and you transfer her to another cage, that is not her territory. Remember I said they are territorial. They perform very well in their own territory. So because of she's now angry, you have taken her to a land that is not hers. She gets angry to the extent that she, can, she, she decides to eat her young ones. Number three, the presence of predators. When we have cats and we have dogs, we have rats and we have snakes around, eh? and the rabbit sees a dog maybe or a cat coming in, she thinks that the dog or the cat is coming to eat her litter. So she decides to hide the litter first so that when the predator goes, she can vomit. In the process, you find her eating her own children, I mean her own kids. Number three, if we have lack of calcium in the mother, if the mother lacks calcium, we know all animals, human beings or any other animal that is giving birth, needs a lot of calcium. To replace the calcium that she has used for the bone formation of the young ones, so if the mother lacks calcium, she wants to compensate that calcium. The only place in a hatch where she can be able to get the calcium is from the bones of the young ones. So she will, you will find them eating 
so that she can be able to replace the calcium that was otherwise lost. It forms part of our training. There's something called DCPs. We normally get it, add it in the feed of the rabbit, eh? especially when she becomes pregnant, so that she can have that calcium. Uh, number, number five, you will find that when we do not have continuous availability of water in the hatch of a mother and the mother becomes thirsty she wants to take some water so that she can get milk and that water is not in the in the in the hatch she will decide to eat the young one so that she can get that water so every time you may you make sure that there is water in the hatch of the rabbit when they consistently eat their young ones we cannot keep them on the farm. You have to remove, slaughter them, and uh, allow bring in more, uh, better mothers. If they do not eat the young ones, you can we can keep because of the crisis we are in. I'm calling it a crisis because we have a very small population of rabbits today. When a doe has littered more than she can handle, Shadrach does his humanly best to ensure that each killed receives a teat. He transfers the excess number of kills to a new mother, similarly to the doe to ensure their survival. Jaffa shares that during this process known as fostering, a farmer must apply some tax. Does are usually quick to notice foreign litter by smell and can easily reject them up to the point of injuring them as she deems them a threat. You can reduce like three kids from this mother you give another mother. We train you on how to go to do it again. Because if you just pick with a bare hand, the mother to whom you are giving those litter can refuse. When she senses a different scent that is not hers, she can refuse. She can even be so angry to the extent that she can even eat her own, her own litter. So what we do uh, as part of the training you will, hold, will, you will hold the mother you are fostering with one hand and with the hand that you are going to use for transfer, you rub uh, on the chest area around the teats, okay? So that your hand can take the scent of the mother you are giving. Then you can easily take with your hand and then give the other mother, okay? Secondly, you can use um, Vicks, very little of it. You can put it on the, on the, on the nose it confuses the sense of smell, just very little, okay? So that by the time she's recovering her sense, already these other new litters have taken her at men. So she will, notice that, she will not notice that you have done anything. And in that case, she will continue breast, breastfeeding feeding all the young ones. Caring for the kilts involves a couple of processes for Shadrach. The first one being the young kilts have warmth, and after 16 days, introducing them to green matter and concentrate. Kila siku tunafangia. Tunafangia kwa hiyo nini? Then in a week, unawasha hiyo mambati ndiyo ni transparent ni hila light gains. Unawasha hiyo mambati na kuwa clean. Unaweza fangia kila siku, but twice in a week unawasha. Kuna kuwa kusavi. Then hizi ngata azizote, unawasha na kitamba. Unapanguza. Ndiyo hii ndiyo niapitia mkoji wa sungura, unanda una. Aside from that, Jaffet advises that the kilts are also to be put in separate weaning houses and dewarmed a week after birth. During this time of weaning, Shadra carries out the sexing process to distinguish between a doe and a buck. A doe's genital organs will appear V-shaped, while a buck's will appear as a rounded tip. As they grow older, the genital organs become more visible and easy to tell apart. Come on. Kuna wale wamezaa wa mama na kuanga kama ni California white, New Zealand na separate. Kama kuna California white, naweka kwa room yao. Kama kuna New Zealand white, naweka ka, kando. Then na, na, na select, kama ni ndume, kike naweka kando. Ukiwa separate, kila, kila sungura kue peke yake, anangei ni mwita araka. Njiwa takuwa na sumbuana na mwingine. Anangei ni weight na anamachua araka. Yeah. That is even your importance you can separate. On the next episode of Next Gen Farmer, we'll learn more about the proper management of rabbits and how to ensure your rabbits are in top condition.